box is for taking pictures? Hey, oh. speaking of pictures, I just learned that Pax went to prom and there were photos. Unfortunately, she burnt them all. Oh, that's a shame. I would have loved to see them. I don't have any prom pictures either. You went to prom? No. What is prom? Uh, something I wouldn't have imagined seeing Pax at, not in a million years. I mean, I'm sorry, can you picture her in a dress? Hey, let's all of us give this photo booth a go. Uh, that's a great no, idea. Th Group picture. Anyone have a dollar? Fine, I guess. This is nice. Love your photo booth faces, Pax. This is my first picture ever. I'm going to treasure this. Yes, um, it's nice, I guess. Did you guys visit the arcade yet? What's an arcade? Eli! Christ's sake, man, you're like, oh my god, you're like a fucking Martian. What do you mean? That... I thought an arcade would have, like, two arcade machines. I never imagined this. I'm super excited, and I've never even touched an arcade machine. Well, today's the day for first, Eli. You're a virgin no longer. Hey, uh, that was... I'm... I'm so sorry. It was not cool. It was, it was totally uncalled for. I don't know what I was thinking. Eli... Eli? Hello? <laughs> Hello? There used to be arcades everywhere. But I haven't seen one for years. There are none in Pacifica, but maybe they still have some in the Republic. God, I feel like I've really missed out on a lot of stuff. It's never too late to start, Z. You're right. Who wants to get their ass kicked? Eli? I'd love to play, but maybe Pax wants to go first. You guys fight it out. I'll beat you both. I'm game. Fine. Let's do this. Oh, I am crushing this. That's what you call crushing it? Please watch and learn. That's what you call crushing it? Please, sis. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? You're both so good. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I held back. Would have been unfair not to. But thanks for good game packs. That was fun. You know what, that's enough for now. We can come back later tonight, Eli. Oh, they have paddle pong party. I used to play this all the time. Hey, Theo, are you done praying? But praying? I, uh, tried reconnecting with God, but the setting was not conducive to a spiritual awakening. I believe spending quality time with you guys and some classic video games beats going to mall church. Anyone up for a match? Who wants to go first? I'll play. Let's go, Pax. My friends and I would play this game every weekend at the taqueria next to my house. We figured out how to trick the machine into giving us free games. After a while, the owner would chase us out. But we always came back for more.
Who's next? Not me. Eli, Ziggy. I actually played in a tournament once. Beat all my friends. Made it to the final. My opponent was a girl. Probably no older than 10 or 11. We all made fun of her. I thought she'd be a pushover. That day taught 13-year-old me some valuable lessons. The least of which was how to be a gracious loser.
can't we can keep engaging in ritual. <laughs> Hey, Pac, can you give me a hand? Or an eye? Did you have to carry all the boxes? Yes. Just do me a favor and guide me to the library upstairs. I honestly can't see shit. This way. Okay. Just follow my voice. Got ya. You've got this. Shut up. Over here. Come in. Marco. Polo. This way. Okay. Just follow my voice. Got ya. You've got this. Shut up. Over here. Come in. Marco! Polo! This way. Okay. Just follow my voice. Got ya. You've got this. Shut up. Over here. Come in. Marco! Polo! This way. Okay. Just follow my voice. Got ya. You've got this. Shut up. Over here. Come in. Marco. Polo. This way. Okay. We're here. Ew. I'm just gonna drop these boxes off. Don't go anywhere. Wait up! I can't just leave without checking this place out. Find anything good? Nah, it's mostly mainstream crap and justice propaganda from the 1990s. Can we be real for a minute? That was yet another close call with justice earlier. God knows if they reported us or not. Is this all worth it? First we ran from the Puritans, now we might be running from justice. What's our end game? Say we get to Nova Scotia in one piece. What's next? Do we all ride into the sunset and live our best lives? Do we build some sturdy wooden cabins and start a commune for anomals? Or do we become test bunnies for mad scientists? Right now, my first priority is survival. But I'm keeping my R options open. We don't even have to see this all the way through if it's not in our best interest. For now, I'm just gonna try to get us out of the country without anyone getting shot or anyone going Nova. Well, that answer sucks. We're always trying not to get shot. Let a girl daydream about walking barefoot under the Northern Lights or something. These shelves have been picked over a few too many times, but I found one gem <laughs> for you. Let's see what everyone's up to. Figure out how our Lord Jesus got supersized. Try to befriend Mr. President. Although, obviously, Gnome has a head start with the fuzzball. Stupid fucking soothing box.
give me my facts. You deserve a good kicking. You deserve a good kicking. What are you up to? Just picking up some stale cancer sticks and trying to pretend Mega Jesus isn't watching my every move. I knew New Jerusalem was special, but I like my capitalism and religion a bit more segregated. Anyway, where have you been? Exploring the ruins of a lost civilization of carefree, devoutly religious credit card carrying shoppers. I knew you were a closeted mole rat. Did you... Oh. Oh, hi, little buddy. You made a friend. Animals love me, babe. I'll buy him some crisps. Planning to poison him? I would never. Besides, those things last forever. And now I'm out of change. Farewell, oh, sweet fags. You're such an idiot. Raccoon now? Oh, no, I don't think so. I just find it helpful to sometimes pretend to have a conversation with things. People, woodland creatures. I was looking at these hats. I don't want to sound greedy. I already have the one hat. But it was the hat I was given, not one I'd chosen. What if there's another hat for me? What if I'm more of a, a Stetson kind of robot? Then again, why am I asking myself to choose one hat to express myself? Maybe I should wear several hats, or none. Or maybe it takes time to find the right hat. What do you think? Should I try them on? The door's locked, but surely we could find a way in. Doors tend to open in your presence. Let's do it. And I'm sure someone can help us get through that door. Theo? Give us a hand. What's going on? We need to get into this hat store. Why? And don't ask why. CT needs a hat. It's vitally important. Far be it from me to get between a robot and their hats. There you go. Thank you. Theo, do you want to help me pick out a hat? I would appreciate a second opinion. No one's ever asked me for fashion advice. But I'm at your servant. So, what kind of hat would work for a caretaker? I'm not sure what that even means, but it's a good question. I'm supposed to resemble a traditional nanny, right? So what would a nanny wear? Don't worry about what you should wear. Does this one suit me? I think this is the one for you. Very stylish. Really? Then this is the hat for me. I love it. I should be getting back to our host now, though. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I'm happy with my choice. This hat is me. Do you need to get back to dinner? Goodness me, you're right. Dinner must be just about ready. I'll let everyone know. everyone. Please come to the food court. I repeat, Theo and the librarian appear to have not heard my call. Would you mind letting them know dinner's ready? Last I saw, they were still in the security office. 
Puritan hardware is a rare thing to see in the Republic. It wasn't easy to get hold of, but I have friends in strange places. I had to do some soldering to connect it to the Wii, but now I have a basic data connection with Pacifica. Dial-up speeds, unfortunately, but I can download my stories overnight. Stories? Hard to get good televisual entertainment in this country, and Utah has a particularly dim view of steamy drama. Right, because of the... It's a Mormon thing. Not that the Mormon Guard are monitoring our media consumption, but we mostly get national broadcasts and homebrew televangelism. I take it you're not a fan of the Mormon hegemony here. Oh, I am Mormon, all right. But hegemony and I have never gotten along. All I need is my illicit Pacific and TV shows and my furry lad to keep me sane. Yeah, uh, sanity's important. Sorry for interrupting, but dinner's ready. Already? Time moves differently in here. Catches visitors by surprise. Uh, that's interesting. Hey, I, um... is that Pacific Attack? Top of the line. I have a guy who has a guy who knows a girl who knows someone who gets me what I need. Not only that, these machines are Puritan grade. Straight from the heart of purity by a girl and a girl and a guy and... Theo, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Modern hardware with proprietary P-grade ports. Our employers have been extremely clear. We just carry the cargo. We don't do anything else with it. I get that, but we're on our own in enemy territory, and now there's an opportunity Did to... Did you say dinner's ready? Let's go. I'm starving. I eat mostly canned beans, but I'm curious to see what your cook's cooking up. You, you, lock the door. You can never be too careful. It's mostly to keep my precious boy out of the room. He's a sneaky little fella. Okay, my dining standards might have been warped by the menu in Liberty, but doesn't this taste a little bit boring? I am so sorry, everyone. I got distracted picking out a new hat. You look fresh to death, CT. And the food's still edible. Don't worry about it. Thank you for making dinner for everyone, CT. You're welcome. Why do you all call me CT instead of the caretaker? That's what we called you in school. It stuck. Oh. Um, I guess we haven't asked you what you want to be called. Really? That's remarkably shitty of us. You can be anyone you want to be, love. How about Mary Poppins? No, inappropriate. Is it? The quintessential British nanny seems like a perfect fit to me. I was thinking, Viola, for now. I once read William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night to the children at the facility. They did not enjoy it, but I did, and 
I like the name Viola. It suits me. A feminine name, suitable for my original programming and voice. Well, your programming shouldn't stop you from picking any name you want, Viola. But I like it. It's classy. Thank you for hosting us here, Lottie. This place is absolutely remarkable. Yes, how did everyone pass the time? Favorite activity only, please. Bedtime is approaching. I bonded with the Fairball and went on a vending machine raid. With limited success. I managed to land a new high school in Galaxy Marauders in the arcade. The arcade upstairs? I love the arcade. That was fun. That was fun. Especially beating your ass, Pax. Deeply satisfying. I loved it. Good pick, Pax. I think I'll head to bed in a minute. It's been a long day. No practice today, Theo? Don't we have a gig tomorrow? Practice gig? We're, uh, touring the Republic with a band. It's our cover story. Something everyone should be aware of by now. Now that is something I would like to see. A real live band in my mall. And since Mr. President's birthday is coming up in a few days, maybe you'd like to give him a private performance? Hell yeah! Of course we do. Pax, your call. Sure, we could use the practice. Lottie, Mr. President, you're in for a special treat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Thanks for coming. We've been the Dustborn. Did he like it? I couldn't tell. Mr. President loved it, and I don't say that lightly. He's usually more of a metalhead. Right. Time for me to settle down for the night. Maybe do some knitting. Good Lord, it's almost seven. We need to head to bed, Mr. President. You know how you get. Ah, <sighs> what a day. My first Betty Diner, a fucking mall to ourselves. Meeting a bundle of furry joy. A close call with justice. Oh, come on, Theo. I count that as a win. They left, we ate lunch. It could have gone much worse. You seem happy. It doesn't take much, man. Just one day, just half a day of not having to constantly look over my shoulder, worrying about riders or justice or fucking Puritans. There's enough to be anxious about, and I'm not saying I feel light as a feather, but it's been really nice to just hang out and chill. We'll file that close call under learning experience, but we need to get our story straight, because next time... Next time... I hope you don't mind sharing a bedroom with us, Eli. Oh, I'm used to sleeping in groups. There's no privacy with the riders. Private bedrooms are used for... You know. How it sex. What? No. They're used to time out that the younger kids are misbehaving. Hot sex happens in the sleeping halls. Everyone just pretends not to look. Can I continue? Next time is... Excited to be sharing a bedroom with me again, Z? As long as you don't snore or fart, I don't miss that at all. Oh, she still does both. Pax is toxic. As I was saying... Next time is not today, Theo. Ugh. Hey, this mattress isn't too shabby for something that's been sitting around for decades. Mm. I just hope there are no bed bugs. I'm sure the raccoon would have eaten them. Mr. President's not particularly picky when it comes to food. Ugh. <sighs> How are things going with the trash panda? Isn't it past his bedtime? The what? No. Don't you dare insult Mr. President. And things are going splendidly. It'll be hard to say goodbye. This is a new side of you, Gnome. You're telling me. I hate pets. They're just 
something about this little guy that melts my cold, cold heart. So, uh, like I was saying... Ugh. Who are you knitting for now? A gentleman never knits and tells. Moving on. Uh, I'm sorry I missed the arcade experience. How was that, Eli? Oh, it was the best. Pax flexed her gaming skills. That was fun to see. Uh, it was not. Oh, man. I would have loved to see it. Viola seems happy with her new hat. I'm glad I had a chance to contribute. She's exploring her identity. That's great. Justice shouldn't have the final word on who she is. She deserves to be a real person. Just like Pinocchio. Okay. I guess. Hey, if we're not leaving early tomorrow, we should do some more exploring. We have plenty of time. We're not due in Rangeley, Colorado until Main Street opens. Main Street? Uh, that's where we're playing. Another bar called Main Street, located on Main Street. You know what we should do? Make t-shirts and posters. We could sell them at our next gig. I'm not sure or leaving a physical trail across the country is a great idea. I would wear a Dustborn t-shirt, for sure. Yeah, maybe I'll design one. What are you doing? I'm adjusting the focus. After I messed with the game, the eyes a bit of a blurry. I need to get this thing serviced or replaced. Damn it. Without a working eye, I'm useless. Oh, that sucks. Let's get you a new eye, Z. Wait, who's... It's getting past mm -hmm. my bedtime. See you tomorrow? You know it. This was my point. Uh -huh. Theo? Who's there? Theo? Hello? doing up so late? I couldn't sleep. I... I think I'm having a crisis of faith, Pax. Ever since you mentioned the cargo again. Time and again, we've been caught unaware by a lack of information. We didn't know about the robot's past, and it hijacked the bus. Eli and Z weren't informed about our cover story, which could have been disastrous at the time. What if we find ourselves in a situation where knowing what we're transporting could save our lives. It's hard to keep going on just blind faith in the mission when we know nothing about what's on that data key. So let's plug it into Lottie's computer and take a look. I mean, we could. It's purity hardware. We won't get another chance like this. But we can't betray Nova Scotia's trust. Not after everything they've done for me. Not if it puts our mission in jeopardy.
Time's running out. While we sit here arguing, time is slipping away. This is our one chance, Theo. Dios mio, Pax, I know that. Stressing me out won't make this any easier. They will betray you. Nova Scotia is just using you until you've played your part and then they'll throw you under the bus. Don't you want to have some leverage when they do? Maybe they will. They might. But I'm not a vengeful person, Pax. Breaking their trust won't prevent them from betraying me. Stop being weak. You want to just cower here because you're scared of pissing off your boss? You want to let some weird shadow corporation dictate your actions? Or do you want to take a stand and find out what you're risking your life over? I'm not scared. I... You're right. There's no point wasting the night with the crisis of fate when we can do something about it. Let's go, Pax. Let's do this. The door to the security office is locked with her voice. But the thing is, her voice is portable. If we can get a hold of her voice box... I'm going to hell for this. Any idea about how to get a hold of Lottie's voice box? This part is all you packed. I can't do it. Jesus is watching. Maybe check if the door is open first. Close your eyes and think of England. Hey, Theo, any ideas? I'd say get the raccoon to help you out. How? You didn't know me. Bribe it with food earlier. Okay, little buddy, just chill. It's me, Pax, remember? We played you a birthday song earlier. Hey, you hungry? We might be able to work something out. I bring you snacks, you bring me something that belongs to your human mom. You like peanuts, little guy? This is yours if you help me. I need your mom's voice box, got it? Voice box, you know, the thing she speaks through. Go get me the voice box. The voice box. Stupid trash panda. No, that's not it. The voice box. That worked? The 
animal understood you. I don't know what Gnome did, but they did something right. Good boy. Easy as stealing a voice box from a crazy lady living alone in a mall with a pet raccoon. Please, don't. We've done a terrible thing. Let's just go to the security room and get this over with. We need to return her voice box as soon as we're done. Just like Lottie. You, you. Open door. Not fresh. Now, let's get this over with. Plug it into that slot. It's asking for a password. Try decorruption initiative, lowercase with a hyphen. That worked. How did I you... I worked in purity for ten years, Pax. Click that folder. What are we looking at here, Theo? Data. I mean, more like a database. It's a massive archive, but I don't know what it is. Try that folder. More cryptic names. Wait. Some of this looks familiar. What are you two doing in there? Unplug it now. Hey, CT. I mean, Viola. Still getting used to the new name. Hello. That's okay. So am I. What are you doing here so late at night? In Lottie's office? Where's Lottie? Is she up? Uh, we were just, uh, doing some research for tomorrow, in case we have time to see the sights before our gig. You could have simply asked... I'm sorry, huh. Viola. Theo wanted to help Lottie with her computer. She mentioned she was having some software problems, and with Theo being a software engineer and working experience from Purity, it's supposed to be a surprise. So, maybe don't tell Lottie? Or anyone? Oh, I see. No, don't worry. I won't ruin the surprise. What exactly was the problem? Oh. I am... Super tired. I think I'll head to bed now. Pax, want to walk with me? 